The new Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro are the last flagships to launch before the end of the year and Google brings a new processor and a bunch of refinements. But in this video, we will put the new Pixels through the paces to see how good is their battery life and how it compares to the competition. Hey guys, Vic here with Fallen Arena and lined up on the table you see first the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7 and you can see that the battery size remains 5000 mAh on the Pro but the vanilla model now has a smaller battery. Then you have last year's Pixel 6 Pro then the big iPhone 14 Pro Max and the smaller iPhone 14 Pro and both of them have smaller battery sizes than Android phones and finally you have the Galaxy S22 Ultra which also has a 5000 mAh battery just like the Pixel 7 Pro. So with all phones fully charged it's time to fire up our first test and that is our web browsing test. Keep in mind that the brightness levels on all phones is set to equal levels before the test begins to ensure equal conditions. Also be warned that we will not be showing you the full test run in this video as it takes dozens of hours. And with that in mind, we fast forward the test until the moment one of the phones has its battery completely depleted. So that is the Google Pixel 6 Pro, which scores exactly 13 hours and 13 minutes. So we flip it over and let the rest of the phones keep on going. But before we go any further, let me remind you that a sub to the channel would be fantastic so we can get our newest videos first. Back to the test, it takes only a few more minutes until we see the black screen on another phone and that is the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which scores 13 hours and 17 minutes. Alright, let's keep this going and we have to wait quite a bit longer until we see the next phone tap out. And that is actually the smaller Google Pixel 7 which scores 13 hours and 56 minutes, just a few minutes shy of the 14 hour mark. This is great news for small phone lovers. Despite the smaller battery, the Pixel 7 outlasts some bigger phones on this test, which is definitely impressive. And not too long after, we see the other model, the Pixel 7 Pro also die at exactly 14 hours and 19 minutes, so not much longer than the smaller model. It's interesting how these two phones have quite the difference in battery size but actual battery life is very similar at least on this test. Alright, at this point we only have the two iPhones still running and we have to speed the video up until finally the small iPhone 14 Pro taps out with a score of 16 hours and 18 minutes, a full two hours longer than the Pixel 7 Pro. So Apple has done a remarkable job optimizing the battery life on the 14 Pro. It outlasts most big Android flagships in this test, which is really impressive. Just when you use it, remember to turn off the always on display option if you want the longest battery life, as it drains nearly 5% of the battery over an 8 hour period. Finally, we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which just keeps on going for a while longer. The 14 Pro Max finally finishes this test and has a score of 19 hours and 5 minutes. An insane number. So the 14 Pro Max remains the undisputed battery life king in 2022, just like the 13 Pro Max was the battery life champion of last year. So let's once again recap the results of this test in a chart. You can see the Pixel 6 Pro and Galaxy S22 Ultra dying first, then a very good score for the new Pixel 7 family and the iPhone 14 Pro series still dominating the chart. All right, but that is just one test and many people don't just browse the web, but like to watch videos. I know that's what I do most of the time on my phone. So that's where our YouTube video streaming test kicks in. Once again, all phones fully charged up and ready for another full battery drain test. But this time they're all playing the same YouTube playlist at the same quality. So let's not wait for the whole thing and speed the footage up until the first phone dies and surprisingly, it is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It lasts just 7 hours and 27 minutes on this test, which might sound like a lot, but compared to others, is definitely a disappointment. So let's flip it over and keep on going and we have to wait for quite a bit longer until we see the black screen on another phone. And that is the Google Pixel 6 Pro, which finishes this test with 9 hours and 10 minutes, which is a far better showing than the Galaxy. And uh, just as we speak, we see another phone also tap out. 
That is the Google Pixel 7, the smaller version, with a score of 9 hours and 13 minutes. And right after it, the smaller iPhone 14 Pro also dies at 9 hours and 14 minutes. So we have three phones with nearly identical results on this test. And here I love that the smaller Pixel 7 and the iPhone 14 Pro are now very close in battery life on this test and they both beat the larger Pixel 6 Pro by a tiny bit, which is impressive. Anyway, let's keep on going. We have two phones left on the table, the new Pixel 7 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So which one will win this test? Let's wait it out. And finally, it's the Pixel 7 Pro that taps out first with a score of 9 hours and 39 minutes. An excellent showing. And after all, you do get slightly longer battery life out of the bigger Pixel compared to the smaller one. But the real star of this show remains the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It refuses to die for a while longer. And finally, we see the black screen on the iPhone and it gets a score of exactly 11 hours of non-stop video streaming on YouTube. The Pro Max remains an insane performer, once again beating the competition handily. So let's once again recap the results from this YouTube video streaming test. The Galaxy S22 Ultra surprisingly was first one to die. The new Pixel 7 series had a very good showing, but it was the iPhone 14 Pro Max that stole the thunder after all. And with that in mind, what can we say about the Pixel 7 series? So my personal favorite here is the just the vanilla Pixel 7 model. At a price of only $600, this phone seems to have it all. From the performance improvements with the Tensor G2 chip, to the improved camera, and the solid battery life. It's an absolute bargain at just 600 bucks. The Pixel 7 Pro also did very well in terms of battery life, but we actually expected it to outlast the regular Pixel 7 version by a larger margin than it did. So interestingly, you're not getting that much better battery life if you go with the Pro model. And both phones have improved compared to last year's Pixel 6 Pro, which is great news. As for the rest of the phones, well, a new Galaxy is right around the corner and we hope it brings some optimizations to battery life as the S22 Ultra scored lower than the average in our tests. The smaller iPhone 14 Pro punches way above the average for a compact 6.1 inch phone and we're happy to have a phone of this size with good battery numbers. But as it is right now, the iPhone 14 Pro Max remains the undisturbed and undisputed battery king of 2022. It absolutely killed it in both our web browsing and YouTube video streaming tests and should last you well over one full day and many users can expect two full days off the charger. So this will do it for this battery test, Pixel 7 series against the world. Do you think Google has done enough with these pixels and are you actually getting one? Let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Vic and I'll catch you guys in the next one.